Welcome to The Gift of Choice, hosted by entrepreneurial coach and holistic nurse practitioner, Bonnie Gressel. Bonnie and her guest offer information and motivation each week to help you live your dream and attain the health, happiness, and abundance you deserve. Now, here's the host of The Gift of Choice, Bonnie Gressel. Well, welcome everyone. This is Bonnie Gressel, your host here at The Gift of Choice. Now today, we're going to talk about listening. And I'm going to get to that in just a moment. But first, I always want to take a moment to let you know how much I appreciate all of you taking time out of your busy day to spend it with me here on the show. I am so honored that you do that. I'm honored that I get to share great content with you each and every week. And um, I love being here again with you. So if this is your first time listening, welcome. But if you've tuned in before, welcome back. It's going to be another great show. Now, I always want to take this time when we get together, beginning of every week, to remind you to take time for you. I mean, that's the other thing that I always want to take a moment to just do. Because life is so busy. We get caught up in things. Our to-do list is really long. And we don't stop and just pause for a bit and listen. We're going to talk about that today. So I encourage you to take a moment and just, you know, certainly not if you're driving a car or something like that, but if you're in a place where you can just stop and just be for a moment, just notice how you, just notice your breathing, how the air comes in. And as you exhale, let everything go that you don't need right now. Everything else can wait. I always want to remind all of us to do that. I have to remind myself to do that as well. Now, Sometimes we also need to be given permission. So if you're one of those people, you also have permission to do this. It's a good thing. It's a healthy thing to take that time for you. Now, the Gift of Choice show is educational, inspirational, and motivational in nature. But I always want you to just take what fits for you and simply let go of the rest. The Gift of Choice show does not intend or imply to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment either. I always want to preface every show with that little reminder for all of us. Now, if you have questions, comments, want to connect with me, make sure you check out the show page. I always put ways to connect with me on my website or on Facebook, and I always have a free gift for you as well. So make sure that you check out the show page before you leave today. Now, let's talk about listening. You know, listening to others is really important, and that's kind of a topic for another show. I mean, it's important to to listen to others, to really, you know, hold the space with them, and to be heard yourself. But that's like a whole other topic. Today, we're going to talk about listening to you, right? Listening to that inner voice, your gut, your intuition, whatever you call that. I mean, we all have it. You know, it's that that inner nudge that a thought comes to us out of nowhere, or maybe it's something that we've been pondering or thinking about, or even asked a question about and we're, you know, not necessarily searching for the answer, but all of a sudden something pops into your head. We all have that. We all see signs along the way. Now we all see them, but we don't all notice them, right? There's a difference because they're there. You know, I I often use the analogy, this happened years ago, Um, I had a a different car, it wasn't a new car, but it was a different car, and it was green, I had never had a green car before, and so I'm out there driving my little green car, and all of a sudden, I see so many other green cars, now those cars were always there, they were always out on the roads, they didn't like all of a sudden become more green cars, it's just that I was focused on it, and so I noticed it. So how about your inner thoughts, your inner wisdom? Do you notice? Do you listen? And if you do notice and you do listen, do you trust it? Sometimes that's the hardest part. You know, we, we think, oh, I just want to, I just want to believe that. Or I, you know, I don't really, that's not really my inner guidance talking to me. That's just something I want to have, you know, become something. Or maybe you're too busy in life to even notice. So one of the things I want to encourage you in the show today, and this is sort of my my takeaway for today, is to stop a moment, kind of like we did just a bit ago when I talked about just stopping and, and breathing. Just stop and notice. Just listen. Just stop and listen. I mean, the answers are there. 
We all have this. We all have this. You know, some people say, oh, I'm a psychic or, or I'm intuitive, and they are, but we all have a certain level of that. They've just become skilled at it and refined it and trust it. So we all have that ability. It's not, a, I mean, it is a gift, but it's a gift for all of us. And we have to choose whether to, you know, use it or not, whether to cultivate it or not. So say you're struggling with something. Pose a question, that question to yourself about, you know, how to find the answer or solution to whatever it is you're dealing with. And then just allow yourself to, to hear, to listen, to notice. Now, if you do this, it might be validated by a sign in your physical awareness, right? Something might happen or at some level, you know, at some level you knew that this was going to happen. It's like, oh, I, you know, you're not totally surprised. That's your inner wisdom telling you, giving you that nudge ahead of time. Now, connecting with that part of yourself, I think has, I mean, so many benefits, but one of the things when you connect the, and the, one of the things that's really important to me is when you connect with that part of yourself, you're never alone. I mean, whether whatever God is to you, that higher power that you believe in, God, Buddha, you know, whoever it is that you believe in, or the angels, or or whatever your belief system is, there's there's a greater power for all of us, right? And so it's whatever, however you connect with that greater power, know that that greater power, the God, so to speak, is really within you. It's not like God isn't out there. God is inside. And so we're always connected and we always have the answers. So trust, listen and trust your inner guidance. It's your sort of your own guidance system. You know, we all have it. It's a, a gift just like choice, right? And so we all have that. It's a choice to use it and to cultivate it and to interact with it or not. You know, I, there is a kind of a, a little example is, you know, if you're at, say, um, an event and you want a certain thing to happen or you're, you're really hoping that the team wins or whatever it is, and, and that little nudge inside of you just says, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, no worries. You know, it'll be fine. They'll, they'll be happy. They're going to win whatever it is. Trust that because that's a really good example of how you can then validate it. Now, some people say, well, how do I know if it's my, my true guidance or if it's, you know, the angel speaking to me or God speaking to me or if it's just sort of that evil part of me? Well, one sort of rule that I use, sort of a guideline, is that your true inner guidance, your true God within you, the angels, whatever you know your belief system is, will never be negative. That's just not possible <laughs> because it's all about love. So it's just not possible for it to be negative. So if you're hearing negative things, you know, because some of us hear that in our heads sometimes too. We've all got that little inner critic sitting on our shoulder and you'll hear those negative things. That's not your inner guidance. That's your inner critic. We all have one of those too. And that's a topic for yet another show because there's all of these pieces of us, right? And that doesn't mean you're, you know, schizophrenic or bipolar or anything like that. We just, we're a complex being. We are. And that's really our gift. Now, if you're a person who, you know, hears, you know, they always talk about hearing voices, right? If you hear voices that are not positive, that are negative, that are, you know, degrading and, and, and hurtful to you, then I certainly encourage you to seek help because that's not your inner guidance. That's not the true stuff. That means there's something else going on and you need to, you know, seek professional help for that. It's kind of what I talk about at the beginning of the show. This isn't a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment, anything like that. So make sure that you take care of yourself. But if it's positive thoughts, if it's uplifting thoughts, and you even get some validation on those thoughts that, oh yeah, that, that did happen, or, oh yeah, it was all okay. And really, for the most part, if we're not, you know, gone, if we're not dead, you're still okay because you're still here. So trust your inner guidance. Know it's your own guidance system. No one else has, has you know, privy to that, really. It's just between 
you and you, you and your God, you and the creator, you and whatever, but it's a very personal thing. And so when you have that connection, when you actually can use that to help you get through the tougher days and things like that, it is so valuable. And so it just, it, it's comforting to me, I know. Um, and hopefully it's comforting to you to know that you're really not alone. That the answers are all really inside of you. You don't have to go searching. You really just have to stop and listen. So I hope that you enjoy that little message today. And I really encourage you to, you know, spend some time with this, to just notice are you listening? And if so, if you're listening and you're hearing little, those little nudges, do you trust it? And if they're negative, make sure that you get some attention, medical attention. But if it's positive, that's your inner guidance talking. Because it's not going to berate you. It's not going to criticize you. It's not going to say negative things. And neither will the angels, neither will God, or whatever your belief system is. So know that those messages are there. It's your choice to listen to them or not. So I will see you next week. And until next time, blessings, everyone. You've been listening to The Gift of Choice, hosted by Bonnie Gressel. The Gift of Choice has been brought to you by MMB Global Solutions, your source for individualized coaching for entrepreneurs and authors, along with book editing and publishing services. For more information, go to mnbglobalsolutions.com.